Hey guys, welcome to Violent Village video series, episode 6. Hey guys, ni Brad Villamarzo dito, and siguro pang apat na take ko na to. These past few days kasi medyo maulan-ulan and it was so difficult for me to shoot and record kasi maririnig talaga yung tunog ng ulan eh. So I had to set up a new recording area here in my bedroom. So welcome to my bedroom. And today we're going to check on two other violins na hindi natin na feature last time. That was the Concerto SNG as well as the Maestrato SNG. But right now, I got my hands on these two other violins, yung Intermedio at saka yung Avanzado. Violence. Check out more information about this on this sound sample. Sound sample for the Intermedio Violin from Violent Village. sample for the Avanzato Violin from Violin Village. Now guys, these two other violins are major affordable, but these two violins are very very good and we also have two advanced other violins here which are the Concerto SNG as well as the Maestrato SNG. And just take note, the Maestrato G is currently under promotion in which you will be able to get 2000 pesos discount and a shipping discount of up to 800 pesos. Now this promotion is up until July 30 only. If you're interested to check our violins, you can message us here at Violin Village or if you're in Metro Manila, if you really want to check on the violin and set an appointment, you can contact Neil at Viluna, Quezon City, through this number. Now this time, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a look at why, bakit, nga ah. Minsan ay tigas tugtugin ng violins natin, especially yung mga strings niya. So it has something to do with attention or, or does it have something to do with the build of the violin itself? We will learn more about that from the owner of Violin Village himself, Sir Chester Nemrod Elias. Hello, good day ulit sa inyo mga Violin Villagers. Kumusta kayo? Kumusta ka Kuya Nemrod? Isa sa mga problema ng maraming violinist. Although magaling sila, may kilala ako mga magagaling na violinist, pero madaling mapagod yung kanilang fingers. Kasi napakahirap tugtugin ng kanilang violin. The harder your strings, the more difficult it is to play. Kahit na napakagaling pa kayo if you don't have a violin that would suit your skills, mahirap talaga and you will be discouraged. So ano nga ba yung um, mga reasons? Yung iba, they've done everything, they've uh, bought expensive, low tension strings, pero matigas pa rin at masakit pa rin sa kamay. Huwag niyong pilitin kasi you will be strained and you will be discouraged to play. It's uh, when playing becomes not enjoyable anymore. And uh, later on, you might acquire irreversible injuries sa inyong mga fingers kapag pinilit ninyong tugtugin yung violin na may matigas na strings. Yung iba naman, huwibili ng bagong violin. You don't need to. Hindi ibig sabihin kapag matigas yung violin mo, kailangan ka na bumili ng bago. May mga solutions, but first, we need to identify the five possible problems kung bakit matigas tugtugin ang iyong violin. First problem, Baka masyado mataas yung bridge. You're using soft strings, but if your bridge is high and not well trimmed, it will produce very high tension. 
Ibig sabihin, iaangat ng bridge yung strings. Pag inangat niya yung strings, lalayo ito. Aangat siya from the fingerboard, causing the fingers to exert more effort to press it down. So the solution, you need to find a luthier to trim your bridge for you. Or, kung marunong ka, pero I don't suggest that you do it, but you may do the trimming yourself. Pangalawa, check your nut. Itong, uh, this one, this uh, tiny piece of wood, this is the nut. Kasi, pag bumili ka ng mga factory violins, especially yung bago, binibili sa mall, yung nut noon, usually untrimmed. Ibig sabihin, mataas siya. Kapag mataas yung nut, mahirap tugtugin yung strings in this part of uh, the neck. Kasi nga, it elevates the strings, lumalayo siya sa fingerboard, you need to exert more effort para it may be pressed down. But the disadvantages of uh, the factory-made student violins, yung nut kasi nila, painted wood, hindi siya pure ebony. What happens when you have an ordinary violin with painted nut and fingerboard, kapag binawasan mo yung nut, lalabas yung kanyang true colors, puti po sa loob, <laughs> hindi na siya black. But I guarantee you and I assure you, yung violins namin are made of uh, ebony wood. Even if you trim the nut, itim pa rin po sa loob. The third problem, mababa na yung bridge, mababa na yung nut, malambot na dito sa first position, pero pag pumunta ka sa fifth position, mataas pa rin. Check the angle of your fingerboard. Baka sobrang mababa yung angle ng iyong fingerboard. So, ibig sabihin, kahit na manipis dito or uh, mababa na yung nut, but if the angle of your fingerboard tilts downward, mataas pa rin dito even if your bridge is low. That needs a major repair. The luthier needs to remove the neck <laughs> and then uh, re-angle the neck upwards. Another, mababa yung bridge, mababa yung nut, tama yung fingerboard angle, pero matigas pa rin. Check the belly of your violin bridge. Baka nag-expand, tumaas siya. We discussed it before, kapag mataas yung humidity sa area ninyo, it rises yung belly ng violin. So kapag nag-expand yung belly, itutulak yung bridge pataas, it will also lift the strings upward. Mas mahirap po siyang pindutin, pababa. And lastly, the most basic and common source of the problem is maybe you're using thick strings or matigas na strings. Naturally, yung mga bakal o uh, steel strings are harder to press compared to uh, synthetic strings. But, depends also on the diameter of the strings. Kailangan i-check ninyo yung product. May mga strings na soft yung material like perlon, especially yung pure gut. Pero, sometimes the diameter o yung thickness ng strings ay mas makapal. So, you really have to inquire. May mga label naman dyan eh. Soft ba ito? Hard? High tension? So, that's one of the solutions. What we guarantee sa Violin Village, yung violins namin is well set up na po. Yung bridge, properly trimmed, lowered na siya. Yung nut, lowered na din siya. Hindi na po kayo mapoproblema na pumunta sa luthier at magpayad pa ng extra fee for the setup. Yan lang muna po. Uh, we'll uh, dig deeper sa mga issues na ito on our following episodes. Thank you once again and back to you, Kuya Nimrod. No, Sir Chester, maraming maraming salamat po for all those information. And one of the last points bakit matigas yung violin natin tugtugin ay because of the strings. Now, synthetic core strings violins range from siguro mga 1,000 pesos up to 7,000 pesos depending on the brand and kung saan mo nabili. Hashtag not sponsored po tayo dito but I have tried a couple of different strings. My Dominance, my Perastro Tonicas, yung Red, yung Varkal na Amethyst na version. I've also tried Alpha U by Tomastic Infeld. I think medyo common yan dito sa Philippines. Penis. But right now, I'm using Peter Infeld or the Pi Strings by Tomastic as well. Now guys, yung tension, usually makikita mo yan sa box ng violin strings mo. Now for the Alpha U, like this, yung tension niya ay makikita dito sa likod. For the Peter Infeld or the Pi Strings, makikita nyo din yung tension niya here. Other qualities of the strings can also be seen on the box itself, like yung sound niya, yung uh, brilliance, yung shelf life. One of the ways that you can try to look for the pliability, kung gaano siya kalambot tugtugin, is you can try to search in Google Violin String Tension Chart. Makikita nyo dito yung force na kailangan i-apply para matune siya at a specific pitch. Generally, the lower the tension, mas malambot siya tugtugin. But it also doesn't mean that your violin will sound better. Now, kung gusto mo naman na well-balanced yung violin mo, you can search Violin String Chart. This will tell yung relative brightness or warmth ng strings. So, if you have a relatively bright na violin, you know, kahit na anong string yung ilagay mo, parang sobrang maingay siya or masakit sa tenga mo, you 
can choose a string na medyo warm. If dull naman or medyo muffled yung sound ng violin mo, you can choose a string na medyo bright. However though, please take note that these are general guidelines only. In the real world, there are a lot of things affecting the sound quality of your violin. So part na dyan yung sound post mo, yung position yan, yung after length, yung gauge or thickness ng strings, etc. Alright guys, so comment reading section tayo ngayon. We have one from Rave Revelo. Proper violin care and maintenance tips. Please thanks so knowledge every episode, Sir Nimrod. Since we're talking about strings, one of the things siguro na ma-suggest ko dito is that every time after you play, you, sh you really should clean up yung rosin na naiwan sa strings. At saka i-rub mo siya up until the strings warm up. Kasi every time you play, some sweat and oil gets inside the strings eh. So when you're trying to uh, make it warm, medyo nag-help ka na para mag-evaporate yung mga sweat at saka yung oil na na-trap inside the strings. Now, proper care and maintenance, that is something na a whole different video of its own and probably we can do that in the future. We also have another one from Mr. Luke Limbo. Every episode of this series makes me surprised. Parang wala pa atang episode dito na di ako nabibigla at namamangha sa mga information na binibigay ninyo. Talagang iniisa-isa ang bahagi ng anatomy at ng violin. More episodes like this. Maraming salamat Sir Luke. Yes, iniisa-isa po talaga namin. So kami medyo matagal-tagal pa yung pagsasama natin dito. So guys, if you want to follow me on my socials, you can see that one here. Just a reminder, my strategy is still on sale. You can go to our previous episode, yung episode 5 namin, take a screenshot, and then when you order, include that screenshot, ma-apply yung discount nyo na 2,000 pesos, and a shipping of up to 800 pesos. This is up until July 30 only. Maraming maraming salamat guys sa pagsubaybay ng Violin Village video series. Once again, I'm Nimrod Villamarzo, and I'll see you on our next video.